This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. Cooper Wade and the U14 Guelph Junior Griffins looking to stay unbeaten this season. They were hosting the Chatham Kent Cougars on Saturday at Alumni Stadium. Opening quarter, it's a good start for the Griffins defense. Watch the near side. Charlie Holt with an interception. He ends the Cougars' possession. Still no score. The Griffs now with the ball deep in their own end, but not for long. This is Damian Scott taking the handoff. Scott gets to the outside. He's got a lane. And how about Damian Scott? He's got a clear pass to the end zone. It's 105 yards for a Griffins touchdown. They take the lead. Guelph is up by six. Back to the Griffins defense and it's a big play from Jude Dowd. He charges in and makes the tackle. The Griffins with a six point advantage after the first. Second quarter, the Griffins extend their lead on this play. Henry Clark punches it in from one yard out. It's a QB keeper. Clark makes it 13 nothing for the Griffins. Later in the second, the Cougars with the ball and it's another pick for Charlie Holt. This kid having himself a day. Holt with a nice run back after the interception. The Griffs take over possession. Out comes the offense and a few plays later. Here is Cooper Waite looking long. He fires downfield. Joshua Mutzi with the catch and he takes it inside the five yard line. Guelph is on the doorstep and they cap off the drive with another QB keeper from Henry Clark. He runs in for a touchdown. The Griffins looking good with a 19 point advantage. Still in the second, it's more from Mutzi. He makes a beauty catch on the near sideline. Magnificent from Mutzi. The Griffs once again in striking distance and once again, it's power and strength from Henry Clark. He won't be denied. Clark gets it across the goal line for his third TD of the day. Guelph is up 25 nothing at the break. Third quarter more from the ground game. The handoff for Tyler Nukowski. He's racing for the end zone and he's got a touchdown. That's a 19 yard run. Guelph in control. The Cougars now looking to break up the shutout, but watch number three for Guelph. That's Ethan Restagno. He motors back, and what a play from Restagno. He trips up the runner before he can score. Chatham with no points on the possession. And a little later, here's the final touchdown of the game. Richard Parker breaking through. He gets a few blocks, and Parker is off to the races. He goes 68 yards for another Guelph touchdown. The Grizz getting it done on Saturday. They win it by a final score of 39 nothing. Here is running back Damian Scott after the game. I think we all did great, you know, Charlie with the two picks and like everything that we all did. We made great turnovers, defense made great stops, we made great plays on offense. And overall, I think we did really great. Uh, I just love this group, like the defense, like they make awesome stops. Like I know I already said this, but like like defense wins championships and offense wins games. Uh, coaches always told me that. And so far this season is doing really great. We all had a great game, teamwork. Josh had a bunch of touchdowns. Offense was great, defense was great. We all worked together and got to dub. So, How yeah. about your interceptions there? Obviously, you're a key player on defense. <laughs> what can you say about those plays? I don't know. The ball came to me. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, Charlie! Yeah. So what about the interceptions? <laughs> the ball came to me, I caught in this man. Just did whatever I could. 